Arsenal have often been accused of style over substance in the 20 years since they were last champions, but no longer. It is the ruthless efficiency of Mikel Arteta's side in both penalty areas that saw them return last night to the top of the table, boasting both the best attacking record and meanest defence in the division. Another clean sheet at Molina was their sixth consecutive away from home in the league. Their bottle can't be questioned either. After defeats against Aston Villa and Bayern Munich in the last week, this was the kind of ugly win prospective title winners need. Though the goals at the end of each half won't score highly for artistic impression, neither Arteta nor the thousands of celebrating Arsenal fans cared a jot. Leandro Trossard towed the opener into the top corner after 45 minutes after Gabriel Jesus had scrambled the ball to him whilst laying on the ground. Maybe not the sweetest but really nice, shrugged the Belgian. Skipper Martin Odegaard added the second goal with virtually the last kick of the game, scooping the ball past Jose S.A. at his near post. Emotionally this week been really hard, admitted the Norwegian. Though Wolves are suffering with injuries, victory will give the Gunners great confidence they can react to adversity. They will stay in pole position for the remainder of the weekend regardless of how Liverpool do at Fulham Sunday because of their superior goal difference. And the win against Chelsea at the Emirates on Tuesday will open up a four-point gap over Manchester City who don't return to action until Thursday with a couple of games in hand. Arteta shuffled his pack after their Champions League exit in Munich with Jakub Kiwior, Trossard and Jesus reintroduced to bring new energy. Wolves had to name 15-year-old Wes Okadua among five teenagers on the bench because of a substantial injury list that included Nelson Semedo, Pedro Neto, Craig Dawson and Mateus Cunha. Nonetheless, Gary O'Neill organised his team in a way which made it hard for Arsenal to find space. SA made three regulation saves in the first 15 minutes but the one guilt-edged chance in the opening half-hour fell to Trossard from Ben White's cut back, that the winger miskicked. The watching Labour leader Keir Stamer, an Arsenal fan, would have had his heart in his mouth when Wolves nearly pounced on an error by Kiwior with Joao Gomez forcing Rea to tip onto the woodwork. Other than that it was largely one-way traffic, Wolves lined up in front of their own penalty area like an old gold wall. Given Arsenal had failed to break down Aston Villa a week ago, there were nerves in the away end until the visitors got the bit of fortune they needed on the stroke of half-time. It was the type of scrappy goal on which titles can be won or lost. Jesus was on the ground tangling with Matt Doherty when he managed to stretch a leg and divert the ball to Trossard on the edge of the box. The winger's connection with the outside of his right boot was unconvincing but flew in at the perfect sliced angle to beat S.A. It was referred to somewhat unkindly on television as a Sunday league hit but they all count. Arsenal were keen to kill off the contest at the start of the second half.
SA saved from Havertz and Arteta set the tone by chasing after the ball after it had gone out of play so his side could take a quick throw. Wolves waited until the last 15 minutes to show genuine attacking ambition by sending on Ryan 8 Nuri and Pablo Sarabia from the bench. By that stage, Arsenal, who only arrived back in London in the early hours of Thursday morning, began to show signs of fatigue, found their inspiration in Declan Rice who seemed to get stronger as the finishing line came into view. It was fitting that Rice had the energy and composure to help carry the ball deep into Wolves' territory during the six minutes of injury time. When the ball arrived at Odegaard's feet, his first shot was blocked but he had the quickness of mind to send the rebound between SA and the post. Arteta was proud of his players, from the little magician Trossard to the mentality of those who secured the points even though the Gunners had played twice since Wolves' previous outing. We want to be as difficult to beat as possible, he said. Similarly, Wolves boss Gary O'Neill was upbeat in defeat. There was no shame in that, he said. I doubt any team in the country is as short of options as we've been, up against one of the best teams in the world. Tactically we were almost perfect until near the end. Buba, Traore, made things difficult for Odegaard and won the ball a lot. Sometimes, you can take plenty out of games other than points, and this was one of those.